Hey there, it's Joanne. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about prize figures. Now, what are prize figures? In Japan, there are a lot of train or UFO games that you can win prizes, you know, like the claw machines, right? Where you maneuver a claw and it you can like win a prize. Yeah, those kind of games. There are a lot of those kinds of games in Japan. And when I went to Japan myself a couple years ago, I spent a lot of money on those crane games. I love crane games so much. One of the prizes I won was this guy and his name is Henry. He looks like a Henry. He's so cute and he's huge and he's so fuzzy and I think I only, I think I got him on the first try. I don't know how, I think maybe he was like positioned really really well um, and yeah. I also got this Morgana plushie, he's a little dusty right now, so I'm sorry if he's a little dusty, but he's so cute. Look, he's got little side pockets, little side bags, and a belt, and his handkerchief. I got these two from the Crane Games in Japan, and some of the other prizes that you can get are also boxes of figures. So prize figures tend to be on the cheaper side, they range from, from what I've seen, around 25 ish They're under $30 for the typical like Banpresto or Taito prize figures. It's cheaper than scale figures, which tend to range from around, you know, nowadays, like I feel like baseline is $100 for a scale figure and it can go up to like $300 plus, which is insane. But today I want to talk about prize figures because it is on the more affordable side, but is it still worth your money? Is it still worth collecting? So I picked a few up from the Crunchyroll store, which stocks a lot of prize figures and actually offers free shipping in the US for orders over $100, which I really like. So I picked a few up and I want to show you what I got. And the first figure actually that I ever got was this Nezuko prize figure. This is a Banpresto, I believe? No, Bandai Spirits, yeah. I bought this figure actually sometime last year before I even knew scale figures were a thing. I was just shopping on Hot Topic for a Hot Topic exclusive Funko Pop <laughs> of Aizawa. And somehow I came across this Nesco and I was like, oh wow, this is really cute. It's very different from a Funko Pop. It was like $25. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see it clearly, but he's very cute. He's really cute. It has a lot of detail. I like her pose and her base is kind of massive, but he's really cute. And this was the first figure I ever got. And she's adorable. <laughs> so I picked up a few more today and let's open up my Crunchyroll order and see what these figures look like. All right, Crunchyroll, let's open up this box and see how you packaged up my figures today. Okay, I see a lot of those air bubble things. That's good. There is a Rent-A-Girlfriend figure, a My Sakurajima figure, and a MASH figure from Fate Grand Order. They all came in really good condition. Now, just comparing the boxes of prize figures versus scale figures, now this is my Homura scale figure box, and it's so detailed. I love the window. You can see everything at a glance. It's huge, especially when compared to this Rent-A-Girlfriend box. And even these tall boxes, you can see the level of detail in my Nadeshko box. There's a pattern all over, different kinds of pictures. And the window, I think, is the big one here. There's not really a window in the prize figure boxes. As you can see by the MASH box, it just shows her, like photographs of her, as well as the MY box. But that one also has art, which is nice. Now taking a closer look at the MASH box, this is going to be the first figure I open. The box has a nice purple gradient, nice pictures of what you're going to see inside. Now let's open up the tape. And instead of the typical blister packaging you see in most scale boxes, you will see stiff cardboard packaging that is taped. And all of the individual pieces are broken up and wrapped in plastic. 
So you take them out individually. This is the main body part. We're super nice. The base, which is nice and simple, as well as the head, which looks good so far. And to assemble, you just snap those three pieces together. Alright, so this MASH figure, I really like. She has so many details, and she's also really tall. She measures about 10 inches from the bottom of the base to the top of her head, which is quite tall. That's like almost a foot for $25. I think this is such a great figure. If you look really closely at her, like yes, her hair is a little bit lumpy, like yes, paint, there's like a weird paint thing in her armpit and you know, she's not perfect, but her, her armor is really nice and her shoes and her legs are really well sculpted. This one is definitely worth $25. One thing I would be wary of if you do pick this specific prize figure up is when I was putting her feet into the base, her leg actually detached from her body and luckily her leg sockets are really deep. So I was able to put it back without any glue or anything and she's, she's perfectly fine now, but be wary, her legs come off. <laughs> Which I don't, I don't think that's intended, but... So I wanted to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison with my MASH prize figure and a scale figure of Nadeshko. Now, of course, they're not one-to-one, -one, right? These aren't the same characters, so it's hard to directly compare, but I'd say one of the biggest differences is in the hair sculpt. You can see MASH is not as smooth, but all of Nadeshko's features and painting and everything is so smooth and so polished compared to the MASH figure. And I think that's one of the biggest differences between prize and scale figures. And moving on to my second prize figure. This one I'm really excited about. This is my Sakurajima in her bunny outfit. So iconic. <laughs> now pulling her out, no, I was actually surprised. She does come in blister packaging, which I don't think is super typical of prize figures, but she's a little bit more expensive, so maybe that's why she gets a little bit special treatment. But first impressions, she's really cute. I like that the ears are made of a felt type material, so it's soft to the touch. I like the gradient in her hair. And I think they captured a lot of the details from the anime, which is nice. Her stockings are painted, which gives a cool effect. And yeah, super cute. And this is her base, nice clear gray with her name on it. All right, and next up we have this Mai Sakurajima. She is so cute. Like, I've been wanting her actual quarter scale freeing bunny forever. She's on my wish list. I've been looking, but I don't want to pay like $500 for it. It's not worth it. But this one is a pretty decent substitute. It's not like her pose is a little bit awkward, but it's not. It's still cute. It's still playful. And her clips on her head are kind of not perfectly painted. But her face is cute, her eyes are cute, the quality isn't like, I don't know, even compared to like the MASH, the details, there's more details in this one than in this one. So, like I think she's still worth it if you're a Mai fan, otherwise I would probably skip. Now this is the last prize figure I picked up. This is Ruka from Rent a Girlfriend and I was really drawn to her pose and her facial expression in this one which made me want to pick her up since I don't know as much about the character but taking the tape off and pulling her out now this is another one of the cardboard style packaging and um, looks like her butt sticking out so um, yeah <laughs> great start I guess taking off the tape and pulling her out she's again separated her purse her base and her complete figure, so her head actually came attached to her body um, as opposed to the MASH one. Taking off the bubble wrap, there was a little paint mark on her face, maybe it was from her necklace, I'm not quite sure what caused it, but I was able to rub it out, which, which is good news. <laughs> but yeah, first impressions, she's adorable. I love her bag, it's so cute and whimsical, I love the zipper detail. 
and she has a plain white base. So I picked up this prize figure because the texture in her sweater and the frills and the movement in her skirt are actually really nice. Really, really nice. For $25, 100% worth it if you like this character. She's on the smaller side. So she's about like six inches tall. Not super tall, but still really cute, I think, to like display on a bookshelf or something like that. And I love her bag. It's so cute and really playful. I would recommend this prize figure if you're a Rent-A-Girlfriend fan. And here is a size lineup of all the prize figures I got today. They're really cute and they're actually pretty decent size, especially the mesh. Overall, I'm really amazed at the detail and the quality of these 25 to you know $27 figures. I think it's a great price, especially for someone who isn't really looking to get into the hobby because we all know figure collecting is a very expensive hobby. Very expensive hobby. <laughs> I feel like overall figure collecting can be kind of an intimidating hobby to get started in but if you're just looking to starting your own collection or debating whether you even like figures in the first place start with a prize figure see if it makes you happy see if you like having them around and then you can go from there hopefully the information from today was a little helpful if you if you're on the fence or if you've been curious about prize figures in general Obviously, all the information here isn't everything, but it is what I know so far. But yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.